Hello. So, when I've, I've been doing projects for a little while now, and one thing I always like to use is uh, these little Altoid tins. Is there hard, durable, all that? Great. They even got little small ones, which is a little smoother in there. Another thing, I, the only thing I don't like is the word Altoid on them, because I typically, typically just like to have a nice little metal box, you know. So. Uh, in order to strip these off of here, I read that there's two methods. I've never, I've never done this before, but I've read there's two methods. One, oven cleaner and plastic bags, where you spray the oven cleaner in there and leave it outside in a hot day uh, in the sun, and it's supposed to melt it off after you, then you can scrape it off with a, with a, a brillo brush or whatever, wire brush, I don't care. Then the other method, is uh, to burn it off uh, with the old blowtorch. Everyone should have one of these, I hope. <clears throat> and that method is just direct, where you're actually just heating the metal up, and then the, the paint peels off, and then you you scrub it down. Uh, so I'm going to try both these methods, see which one I like better. So uh, so let's get to it. Oh. <laughs> oh, fumes are a little stronger than I thought they'd be. I mean, I've I've cleaned an oven before, and it's never, it's never been this bad. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Something you might want to do outside the spray part. I'm I'm in a basement. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look at there's a nice healthy serving there. Oh, okay. Yep. <laughs> Why <laughs> we do that outside? Oh. Like I said, I've never done this before. Oh. All right, after we burned it, it um, kind of expanded a little bit and doesn't catch as nice, but eh, what are you gonna do? Now to rub it with some steel wool. Let's flatten this Altoid thing out too while we're at it. Alright, uh, this one looked like a little easier. It's, um, back's pretty well dissolved off. The front's got some stuff on there, but looks like it'll actually peel off pretty good so I'm gonna go ahead and take it out and uh, rub it down but um, probably gonna want to wear gloves for this one All right, that went a little better than I thought it would, actually. You can see the, the detail. Uh, it did strip the back off really well when it was just that light coloring and uh, some, some words. The front had really thick white paint, and I did not want to let it sit more than the, ooh, I did that about five hours, and um, didn't really want to go much longer, so I just shaved it off. Doesn't look too bad. All in all, it looks pretty good. This method did not hurt the uh, structure of it, so it feels just like it does when it had candy in it. The burning method, because I uh, uh, heated it a little too long, you can kind of see that, 
it um, bubbled out on me so I actually had to open her up and bend it a little bit you can kind of see those dent marks but it still lays flat doesn't really have any troubles um, I had to bend this part in a little bit but uh, kind of gave it that nice little brushed look so uh, if you want it to just be kind of metal let this sit in the thing a little longer but uh, the heat's pretty much instant. Uh, you're not going to get away with, from using the steel wool, but uh, I don't know. If you got the time to waste, just let it sit in some oven cleaner. Uh, you could also paint these if you wanted, but uh, that's up to you. Alright, that'll do it.